guys, I have my AIA um, American Influencer Beauty Bundle Box. I'm trying to think if this is for March, April, or April, May. I think it's for April, May, because it is a bi-monthly box. I'll have to look it up. I'm sure it's in the title that you clicked on. Um, that's why it gets a little confusing, because you're just wondering what two months it's for. I can't remember the... I, I honestly don't remember. But anyway, so this is always a little bit different from other beauty boxes because it is all one brand. Instead of a box that has like all different brands, it showcases particularly one brand from what they consider an American influencer. So I've had one box that was all Pure Lease, one box that was all La La Beauty. My last box was all um, Pella, Bella Pierre. So I have considered canceling this box. I've canceled a lot of boxes. If you guys have been watching my channel, I literally went from like 10 boxes to three. Um, and one of them, I don't even count as a box, which is the Walmart beauty boxes. It's literally $7 four times a year. This one is $34 every other month. If it had been a monthly one, I probably definitely would have canceled it already. But because it's bi-monthly, I find I'm not accumulating things as quickly. My issue with the boxes was one, lots of money. So I'm saving money by canceling in two. I've been accumulating a lot of things in a very small apartment. But I loved my last box so much. I said, let me hold on to it for one month. So I've had this box four times. I loved my first box. I hated the two in the middle and then I loved my last. So this might be the deal breaker because so far I've hated two and I loved two. I will try to remember to link the four of them down below. But I'm pretty sure I have an AIA beauty bundle playlist if you guys want to check it out if i forget because i do forget so let's see how i feel about this one and make a decision so i this is a true first impressions i literally just cut the tape now i actually missed the piece so you guys are going to get my true first reaction the box is always so cute on the inside it says be strong be beautiful be you it has the styrofoam so i literally cannot see anything so let's see what we got authentic beauty concept so it says the reason we love authentic beauty concept is because of the wide array of styling products that cater to each and make each hair type which is what makes it so authentic to our salon the blow dry primer is a staple for many stylists as it creates the perfect base for styling our signature tousled waves from the vegan and cruelty free ingredients to the elegant scents authentic beauty concept is a brand our client and stylists love so that is what I just read in the back over here gives all the info and gives you prices. Uh, it's definitely worth it money wise. Oh my God. So all these pro and they are all full size this time because sometimes you do get a sample in there. Every single product minus the mask is worth 28 bucks. The mask is worth 38. So just the one product almost equals the cost of the box. It's literally $6 less. The mask is $4 more than the cost of the box. So you definitely get your money's worth. Um, the box before the last so two boxes past was a hair box so i do feel like i am getting like a repeat of a lot of things but it is a beauty box so they kind of have to stick with beauty so it's always usually hair makeup or skincare like i love the pure lease it was all skin based the bella pierre was all beauty i loved not because it was makeup it was because i loved the brand and i loved what i got lala beauty was makeup and i hated it i hated the shades i got and the colors i hated the hair one because one of the products leaked. It was completely empty. My box was a mess. So let's see how I feel about this one. Let's check out the products. Let's read about them. So let me grab the first thing I see here. Authentic Beauty Concept Hydrate Conditioner. So I'm going to assume I get, I got the conditioner and the shampoo. Okay, so they don't call it a shampoo. They call it a cleanser. This pleasant cleanser brings back elasticity and shine to normal to dry or curly hair, leaving hair feeling fresh and not stripped. I do tend to have drier hair. I have been saying how I've been wanting, um, I want to start using like really good hair care products. I literally bought like a very expensive, I think it's IGK. I don't think you, that's, I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't think you call it IGK um it was really like over 110 dollars i think i got it for 52 in the edit sale and it was literally for dry thirsty hair i had like coconut oil in it i haven't used it yet i'm still on my um ogx uh brand that i got from my trend mood you can see i get a lot of things in boxes hence why i say i accumulate um so once i use those maybe i will try this one next i do really want to find something for my hair my hair is very long i know it's not down in this video but if you guys watch these my hair is down it is well past my breast onto my waist i do have a lot of spill ends a lot of damage i do dye my hair a lot but i really don't want to cut my hair because i love my long hair so i have been trying to revive it 
with products. So it's definitely I'm glad I got hair care to try. But I don't know. I think I just I have a bad taste in my mouth because my last hair care box sucks so bad. Um, I like that it's called a cleanser and not a shampoo. It feels like because I know when you hear sh not that all shampoos are bad, but I don't know when you hear you know shampoo is I only wash my hair once a week because shampoo strips your hair of its natural oils. But a cleanser makes me feel like maybe it's different. Maybe it won't do what shampoo does. And it literally does says it helps hair feeling fresh, not stripped. So it really makes me wonder. Um, it says authentic beauty is real, honest, and a, a purpose driven. When what we leave out is just as important as what we put in. Performance driven vegan formulas free from microplastics, mineral oil, paraben sulfates, and silicones. I do like the sound of all this. I do like that it's specifically for dry hair because that is what I have. So I'm definitely excited to use this. It says that the pleasant cleanser will help with the elasticity and shine for normal to dry or curly hair and then it just says lather into wet hair and rinse thoroughly and then obviously and this is a hydrate cleanser so the way it says hydrate sounds good it's going to hydrate my dead hair it says the lightweight conditioner moisturizes normal to dry or curly hair and helps it appear supple and smooth so the same exact thing about how they're purpose-driven and it's vegan so and the cleanser is actually bigger than the conditioner. That's kind of cool. Uh, the conditioner is 8 ounces. The shampoo is 10. Every time I get a shampoo and conditioner set, they're always the same size. And I always fly through the shampoo faster than I do the conditioner. Or do I mean the opposite? No. Yeah, I fly through the shampoo faster than the conditioner. So I don't know why that is. Maybe I just, maybe I should use conditioner more. Maybe that's my problem. Or am I, I don't know. I think, I don't know. I feel like you have to use more shampoo because it's just to feel really clean or it doesn't get as sudsy so i need to use a little bit more i don't know but uh i feel like this proves that you shampoo a little faster because they're giving you a little bit more so maybe they will end around the same time so i do kind of like having matching sets um the next thing is a hydrate lotion that's interesting i never heard of a concept of hair lotion you know you hear like hair masks hair oils um it says this lightweight lotion fights frizz and helps to protect the hair from blow dry damage. I never blow dry my hair. I know that's one numb killer of hair, heat, and blow drying. So I always let my hair air dry. But um, I do obviously use heat products. I use my curl. I use my straightener. So I will definitely try this out. I love like the very light blue color. I love how minimalist it looks. Then we have a blow dry primer. This one is pure white. It's the only one that's like a different color and let's see what this says i create the ideal base for any hairstyle and provide subtle control with light conditioning use also as a cutting aid mystery damp hair style as desired this fluid prep mist with protection against blow drying damage creates the ideal base like i just said for any hairstyle and provides subtle control with light conditioning so um it's basically like a heat protectant so not just for blow dry so i can spray this on my hair before straining before curling and it's just going to um help you know with that damage and give a light condition to my hair and then the last product is the hydrate mask anything hydrating always sounds good it's this hydrating mask is an intense yet lightweight treatment that deeply moisturizes while bringing back elasticity and shine so we got six ounces here same thing for dry hair just want to see if it says how long you just keep it leave it on for five to ten minutes so that is everything that came in my a AIA beauty bundle. Like I said, it's $34. It's bi-monthly. It comes every other month. And it's always a beauty item. So it's always either hair care, skin care, or makeup. Um, and it's always one brand. So that is kind of what I like about this box and why I've kept it as long as I have. Because you really get to try out one brand and know if you like that brand. Um instead of getting like a bunch of different products from a bunch of different brands i mean that's good too to try things out but you i really know after using these i like authentic beauty concept if you don't understand what i'm trying to say i can definitely say i like pure lease after getting the pure lease box i can definitely say i like bella pierre after getting the bella pierre box it's like i can say i definitely don't like la la beauty because i literally there was not one product i think i liked in that box except the lip oil that was literally it i didn't like any of the lipsticks i didn't want even not even just because the colors but even just the formula my lips felt so dry i did not like the palette but i know someone who absolutely loved her one of my favorite youtubers i watch all the time one busy mama loved her la la beauty and didn't like the belly pierre because she likes more neutral shades 
Bella Beer had a lot of shimmers, but that's more me. So, um, like I said, you get to definitely try out one brand. But that is everything. So I got a mask, a hair lotion, a cleanser, which I'm going to guess is like a shampoo, a conditioner, and then a, like, heat protectant priming spray. Um, like, I leave AIA Beauty Bundles information all down below in the website if you guys decide you want to sign up. Like I said, in the title, I will put whether this was April, May, or March, April. So this way, if you don't, if you're not a big fan of this box, but you want to try it, then wait and sign up. So, like, let's say this is the April, May. Wait and don't sign up till after May. Um, or if this is the March, April, then sign up at the beginning of May. So, you would get the next box. Um, but, yeah, you don't accumulate things as quickly because it is bi-monthly. I have basically canceled all my monthly boxes. I just have this and two quarterly subscriptions, which is FabFitFun and my Walmart box. I have canceled everything else. And I will talk about it in those videos. I paused my Mint Mongoose. I didn't end it because I do really like jewelry. I literally just filmed the jewelry haul. Uh, but I don't want to be getting it every single month. Um, it, you know accumulates too much you know i only got one body to put julie on I got one face for makeup and skincare so that is definitely like the downfall even though you get such good deals it's just you get a lot of things why i cancel so much so because i have canceled boxes i am not as much of an unboxing channel i definitely still do unboxings i do my occasional mystery box i just posted a bombay and cedar i just filmed a makeup geek one but i am going to start doing different things on this channel I'm thinking about incorporating some cooking videos some organize with me videos some decor videos and I want to start doing some try-on hauls. Like this shirt right here is brand new. You will probably see in that try-on haul when I film it. It is a Target shirt. They do have plus size. People think it's just Anna and Vive. No, Wild Fable sells plus size. Universal Thread sells plus size. A New Day sells plus size. But it is all online. I feel like you don't see a lot of women my size. You will see like a lot of 1X, 2X, like Sarah Ray Vargas, a lot of mid-size you know, a lot of size 14, 16, 18, 20, but I'm a size 28. I definitely wear like the bigger sizes. I'm a tr like true big plus size woman. So I just want to showcase to those people. I think unboxing was a great way for me to start out because you only see this much of me, but I'm just ready to branch into more so I don't have to keep getting boxes and things and doing hauls. I mean, obviously I'm getting clothes, but I also want to just do styling videos where I just do basics and I show you guys things that are already in my wardrobe and how I change it up and use one the same shirt for five different outfits or whatever if that interests you definitely subscribe you know like i said i still do some unboxings i still do some mystery boxes if you like fab fit fun aia beauty walmart mystery boxes definitely subscribe if you like decorate with me videos um i did post like when i decorated for the fall and i didn't get to post for christmas christmas was a tough time um especially I, I worked at a school and we ended up going remote during christmas but uh i am getting more on my grind I was posting very consistently and then I went back to work and I'm still posting just not as often but definitely at least two to three times a week so I am getting into the groove of things and soon I'll have the summer off again so uh, it's just been a really tough school year but that is basically it so like I said if any of those um, things interest you definitely subscribe hit the notification bell you'll be notified when I upload uh, like the video if you like AIA Beauty if you like unboxings if you like me and just comment down below do you guys like AIA Beauty do you have AIA Beauty have you considered getting AIA Beauty anything of that nature I love talking with you guys but that is it guys be safe